Hi guys, it's Chris again. Um, I'm just looking at hair like looks like I have something on my chin. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, I am here with my next video of the evening, um, which people watching this will be like, well, what evening is this? And I'm stuck there. Hold on, my hair's stuck in my bracelet. Uh, oh lordy, great way to start off. Okay, uh, I put a little makeup on. I always try to like mix it up a little bit guys because when I make these videos like one in a row you know like one two three in a row I'm like oh look at they're looking at the same person oh great oh wonderful you know same outfit same whatever I didn't change my shirt for you guys but I put some makeup on I actually got some eyeliner on here see some lipstick a little blush anyway okay I know I'm a weirdo but whatever what you gonna do okay now this video is a big huge shout out to my girl, Rashonda Roddy. And anybody in any of the wax groups out there probably knows Rashonda. And lovely, lovely girl. Love her. Um, we kind of had a little funny thing happen. I had posted, there's another video on YouTube here um, in my channel of Rashonda Roddy's D stash. I had purchased a D stash from Rashonda. And when I received it, it looked like the Postal Service was, like, playing catch with this thing. Like, it was ridiculous. You know, I mean, for any male people out there or whatever, I mean, I apologize, but it was it was nuts. This box was, like, beat to shreds. And when I opened it, a lot of the stuff was, you know, popped off and whatever. But, I mean, still, I mean, it's all going in my warmer. There was awesome amount of scents, um, amount, different, tons of different vendors, and I loved it, loved this D-Stash. So, I go to my mailbox today, so I think it was yesterday or last night or something, Rashonda sent me a message on Facebook, and she says, because she is also in our Candles Anonymous group, so if anybody who loves wax and anything girly, like nail polish and body lotions and body sprays and makeup and nail polishes, Candles Anonymous, guys, type it into your search bar. It's a closed group, but you just say you want to join. We will add you. Awesome group, guys. Awesome. I'm one admin of the group. There's two others. Great, great, great girls. Um, and we're really close. We're, we're, we're like family. We're just, we're really close knit. But anyway, Rashonda, I had seen her in, I actually bought her D-Stash in another candle or wax group. There's so many out there, but I think this was a general wax sale group or something like that, or a D-stash group. And so she had one. I'm like, okay, my first D-stash ever. Got to purchase it. So I purchased it, right? And like I said, it came to me, and I was like, oh, geez. Well, I did a video on it, and I apologized to Rashonda because I said, girl, please, like, don't, this is not your fault. Please don't take this as any sort of criticism. But some of these things were tore up, right? I mean, again, they're just going in my melter, right? Who cares? I tend to be a little, you know, anal retentive, a little OCD. I have databases of all the companies and what I've ordered, what I've liked, what I don't like, how their scent throw is, that kind of thing, whatever. Um, <clears throat> which is a lot of work. So... Some of them I was, well, you know, like I said, I wasn't too sure about. I'm like, uh, I don't even have a lid on this one. I don't know what it is. Uh, or I have the lid, but it's so crushed I can't even tell what it is kind of thing. Whatever. Anyway, so she sent me a message yesterday on Facebook. And she's like, did you like your package? And I was like, I'm thinking to myself, Rashonda, I made a video. I thanked you. And I made a video and I tagged you in it. And I think we had combo about it. So I was like, oh, yeah, I loved it. Like, it was awesome. You know, it was so many new vendors to try. It was great. So I'm kind of clueless, right? I'm going, okay, something's lost. Either something was lost in translation, right? Well, no, nothing was lost in translation. Let me tell you how wonderful this girl is. I go to my mailbox today, and I get a box. It looks like this, and Rashonda, you're going to laugh, and I haven't opened it, so we shall see what we get, but, okay, I get another box, 
Like, pretty beat up. I mean, look, it was shot like, tapes this sucker man, like, no one's business. But, you know, it looks like someone kicked in the side of it, and, you know, I don't know. Whatever. The box is kind of tore up. But, you know, not too bad. But it does look like someone kicked the side of it. But, whatever. So, I'm going, I'm saying to myself, and I'm looking, I'm like, it says from Rashonda Roddy. I'm like, okay, I'm confused because I paid her already. And then I'm freaking out because I'm like, I did pay it, right? Because I know I got the D stash, right? But I thanked her and I did the video and all that other stuff. So I go to my PayPal and I'm like, no, no, I, I, I paid her. Okay, it says right here, I paid her. So I sent her a message. I'm like, hun, I think you confuse something because I already got my D stash. I paid you. I received it and did a video on it and I think we even discussed it because she apologized of course how you know the stuff came and I'm like it's not your it's not your fault, you know? You didn't do it. The postal service did it. Um so we had a convo about it and everything and here I have a box and I'm going, I'm gonna send this back to you. I didn't even open it. I'm like, I'm sending it back to you because I think you didn't think you sent it to me, but you did. She said, no, I sent you a new one because of the condition the old one was in. Now, please tell me who does this. Please, who does this? Who sends somebody two D stashes for the price of one because of the postal service's mistake? Rashonda does because she's awesome like that. Like... So much love for you, girl. Like, so much love. Like, it made my mother's day. Like, it was just so awesome. I'm like, I'm like, are, really? Are you sure? Like, come on. No. She's just straight up legit awesome. So, I'm opening this for the first time for Shonda. So, this is my second D-Stash gift. D-Stash gift was gifted to me from Rashonda. Um, and it is quite packed very well. Like, all I can see right now is bubble wrap and, like, these packing things. <laughs> That's all I can see right now. Um, okay, so let me try and get rid of these packing things. Um, I have nowhere to put these packing things. Okay, let me see if some of this stuff can be removed. Okay. It can. Good. Okay. So, look at all this bubble wrap. And what I do have to say with the last one, it, like, it, it didn't have a lot of bubble wrap. Like, I think there was one piece on the bottom. But see, look. She made sure that there was, <laughs> there was not going to be a problem with this. So, here I am opening this for the first time. Oops. Oh, my God. My bracelet's stuck again. I am, like, going to get rid of some of these things. Okay. So, the first thing we have, guys, here is, and I will have to take a picture of this and add it to the end of this, um, because my D-stashes, like I said, normally with my other camera, I'd be able to just take a shot of it, um, but I can't. This came in a, um, it's a regional rate box A. Now, I'm not quite sure, I usually do the flat rate shippings, um, but it says maximum weight 15 pounds, um, where they do, oh, if you could, you know, if it's, if you could fit it, it ship, if it fits, it ships, whatever kind of thing. So I don't normally do like the medium, small, medium, large flat rates, whatever. So this would be a medium, looks like it would be like a medium flat rate box. Um, so I'm not, like I said, I'm not quite sure what regional rate box A means, but whatever. Um, so I will take a picture of this D stash and post it to the end of my video. Um, but this is from, I almost pronounced her name wrong again. She's an also awesome vendor. That is in our group. Um, I got a couple boxes from her. And, oh my god. It's Linnea. Because I pronounced it last time. Lin Linnea, I think. And she's like, oh, girl, don't worry about it. Like, everybody does that. But it's Linnea's Wax Creations in Blueberry Cobbler. And I'm going to... Okay, just pet peeve. Not, not Rashonda. At all. Okay. When people send me stuff in these cellos, vendors, whatever. And like I said, you can do whatever you want. You own the business. I don't own it. You own it. But, okay. When you, it has this nice resealable 
you know, cello. But look it. You put the label over the opening, which means I have to rip the label. And I hate to do that because I like to do a lot of giveaways and I can't. Well, I can't say she's I can't. It just makes it look. If anybody gets a giveaway from me, guys, please, or just as a gift, because I love you. If it looks like it's been opened, it's been opened, but just for the purpose of video and smelled. Not okay. Not like oh, this is used. You know, not opened. <laughs> Like a jar of peanut butter and someone's taking a big scoop out of it and then giving it to you and going, hey, here's a new jar of peanut butter. No, these are all new. I've just had to open and rip the label, unfortunately. Pop the seal, as they say, um, because the vendor has put the label on that way. So I always prefer the people that the vendors put the label on the back side of the flap. So the flap goes on this side. And the label goes on this side. So you have the whole label. And when I open it, oh, look, I still have the whole label. Nobody has to, you know, it doesn't have to be ripped. But, again, I know I've stated it. I know everybody out there who's watching my videos and the vendors are like, yeah, Chris, you know, shut up. Enough already. We got you. You're OCD. All that crap. Okay. Now, this is Blueberry Cobbler. Divide two scallops. These look like one ounces, two one ounce scallops, and blueberry cobbler from Lene's Wax Creations. And like I said, I've had two boxes shipments from her, and that I purchased. And her stuff is so cute, you guys. I mean, not even never mind the smell. The smell is awesome. This is just such an awesome. This is more of a blueberry than bakery scent. Blueberry cobbler. Um, so if you're looking for, like, straight-up bakery, this wouldn't be it. But if you're looking for, like, fruity, this is awesome blueberry. Awesome. Um, so that's Linnea's Wax Creations. And I will list all the vendors, obviously, so everybody knows. Um, and this is Holy Moly Macaroni. Okay. This is... Okay. Now, this doesn't say who this is from, so Rashonda, if you, what well, candle company, what this is from. But this is, it says Winter Spice Chunk Melts. So it's chunks, big, huge chunks of wax. Um, in a cello bag with a twist tie. So I don't know who this is, the candle company this is from, so I can't give credit. But if you could tell me. Now, if you like spice scents, this is... This is your thing. And I don't mean spice like herbal. I mean spice like spicy. Like, um, cinnamony, nutmeggy, whatever. This is, this is really nice. Um, spice scents are really not my thing. This smells nice. Um, don't know. I still would love to know who the vendor is, Rashonda. Um, of the Winter Spice Chunk Melts. But this is a big bag of wax, guys. This is how I, I want all my wax to come. This big, huge bag. And actually, I'll show you one of these chunks, too, because... Wait. That's a decent-sized chunk. So, um... Hmm. Don't know if I'm loving it. That's the cool thing about d stashes is that I may not love this, but other people may, like, go, oh, my God, I have to have that. You know what I mean? Like, holy moly. So what's so cool about that is you can share with all your friends, guys. I know some people like to be hoarders, wax hoarders, like me. I like to be a wax hoarder. And as soon as I get everything databased, guys, I I will do, I don't think I'm going to do D-Stash. I think I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make you guys pay for it. But I will at some point do a um, giveaway. I actually have one going um, until I believe the 14th. I'm waiting for my solo bags to come um, on one of my other videos. So if you want to get in on that. But look at 
<laughs> that's what was in this. So I'm gonna wrap it. I'm gonna try try and wrap it back up nicely. Those two little items were in there. Not little, but you know, the, those two items were in that. Um. Okay, now we have here one random scallop from Tropical, it's called Tropical Fusion from Sniff My Tarts. Now, I have never have had anything from Sniff My Tarts. I've, I'm in their wax group, and I've heard a lot about them. Tropical Fusion. How would I describe this to you guys? But it, again, sniff my tarts. Um, this is very green. Like, I mean, it's green in color. Obviously, duh. But it's... I want to say some sort of, like, Hawaiian flower. It's very exotic smelling, which I love. Absolutely love exotic smelling. And their wax is nice and soft. It's like, but not too soft. It is getting a little melty in my hands. So I'm going to put it back in here. But Tropical Fusion from Sniff My Tarts. So, smells nice. So I will have to, oh, it looks like this cello bag got a little, it's resealing onto itself. Can I open that? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. My dysfunction. Again, it usually is my dysfunction. Oh, and I just resealed it back on itself. Okay, whatever. I'm not going to deal with that right now. But, so it's sniff my tarts. I'm going to move this stuff. Thanks, Rashonda. You know? Just kidding. <laughs> it's like these little things remind me of, like a bad perm or something. You know? I've gotten these from other um, vendors, not from... Uh, Candle vendors, but okay. So let's see. So now she has another. Okay, here we go. Two. So this, is what I, this is what I received. Two huge, ginormous. Um. Wow, she packed. <laughs> she really packed this good. That's cracking me up. Um. Good job, Rashonda. Um. So I had all that stuff on the bottom, and then she bubble wrapped all this. So. Let me open this here so I can get out these nice smellies. Oh, my God. The smell coming from this is just divine. Okay. Now, we know she wrapped this good because I'm going to tell you why. And she took my advice. This is so cute. This is making me laugh. I love you, girl. Okay. Because look at this. Okay, this is a, I want to say they call them Snapaway bars. There's, what is there? Let me see. One, let me see if you do my math. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Four, eight, twelve. Let's see, my math is so bad. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty four. Okay, so there's 24, like, little squares. But see this? It's not all that thick. I mean, it's not all that thin either. So, she packed this good. Rashonda, you did a good job because this is from Molten Melts. Um, it's called Scent Snaps. I knew it was Snap something. And it's buttery gingerbread. And I can, like, smell it without even opening this. Oh, my God. And I'm not usually a gingerbread person, but... This is so awesome. You know what this reminds me of? My mom used to eat gingerbread all the time. And I never really ate it. Every once in a while I would, but because like I said, I'm not a big gingerbread person as far as eating it. But the smell of this is just so buttery oh, and gingerbread. It's like my mom used to do, used to do it with the red and then she'd, she'd make these big things of gingerbread, <clears throat> cut them up, and then she'd put the, you know, the whipped cream on them. And she used to love it. But this is awesome. This is an awesome piece of wax. Rashonda. So thank you so much. And look, it's not broken, girl. It's not broken. That's from Molten, Molten Melt. 
Um, I heard something from them today too, and um, I don't remember what it was. So, like I said, I'm so having itchy. Um, I don't remember what it was, but anyway, here's another one from Molten Melt, and scent shot in cinnamon crunch cake. Come on, camera. There we go. Molten Melt, and she look at she scotch taped the sides. So the lids don't fall off. That's what I had suggested last time when she does a de-stash. <laughs> oh, but she'd be embarrassed. Is she's doing this for everybody now, or is she just doing it for me? Because, like I said, so many of those lids had fallen off, and I'm going, oh, like, what scent is what? Like, I'm literally having a panic attack because I'm going, oh, my God, like, which lid goes where? What scent is what? What am I going to do? So she taped the lid, which when I do de-stashes or giveaways, giveaways, um, I'm always going to tape my lids, guys, to these, because a lot of times, these actually are the exact same, um, scent shot containers that I just got, because I melted, um, a scent today, and it just wasn't really for me, um, I think I only had it melted for, God, maybe 10 minutes. And it just wasn't for me. So I poured it into one of these two ounces because I received these today. These, these are, I think they normally make these for like jello shots or souffle cups, they're called, um, when you look for them online. But look, it's got little sparklies on it. And I definitely get cinnamon, cinnamon crunch cake. You know what it reminds me of? Like that cinnamon topping on an apple crisp. That's what it reminds me of. And I'm not usually a big cinnamon person at all, but this is, this is really nice. But when I do my giveaways, I am going to, you know, if you see, if you get my stuff, you will see that I will also be scotch taping all of the lids so that nobody else has a panic attack like I did when their scent shots don't have lids or all the lids are at the bottom of the box, and you're like, oh my god, what do I do? I don't know what's what. So, thank you, Rashonda, for taking my advice. I love you. Um, okay, this is another company that I don't know who it's from. Um, so I don't know if she repackaged this, or a lot of times when you get stuff, like samples or whatever, or the other de-stashes, you'll get stuff that's labeled like this. I'm not going to put, there's a price on the bottom. So I'm not going to, I think what somebody was asking, so I'm not going to show you that. But, see, it's caramelized, praline, simmer melts. So, you know, obviously it's handwritten. That's how my stuff will be, too, if I repackage something. Um, like, if I get stuff in a, in a four-pack, in a cello bag, well, you know, I'm going to individually wrap those in a cello bag so that I can give to more, you know. So I have more to give. Um, but they will have oval labels on them, too. You know, and they'll be handwritten. Um, I'll try to put the, the company name. So, please, Rashonda, let me know who this is from, along with the other one. I think that wasn't... Whatever. You'll watch the video. You'll see. But, hmm, I can, like, I can just smell through here. But I'd love to know who this company is. Um, I know a lot of people don't care. A lot of people are just like, hey, it's wax. But this is a... Uh, one, two, three, four... This is a six clamshell. Now, it's funny, because I always want to call the, the scallops the clamshells, because they remind me of a clam, but these are called clamshells. I don't know why. I think probably because they open like this. I don't know. I would call these cube somethings. I don't know. I'd make up some name. Cube cuties. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But they're not, that's not what they're called, guys. They're called clamshells. And this is divine. This is, oh my God, this reminds me of, I'm going off on a tangent again. I'm sorry, guys. Oh God, what was the name of that ice cream place? Um, and it's not a really well-known, which was not friendlies or anything like that. So people, please don't post friendlies or, you know, I'm not that much of a dork. Um, I want to say, was Franny's or Fanny, Aunt Fanny's or, anyway, they had a, um, They've since gone out of business in Connecticut, but there was one in one town in Connecticut, and it was, um, it was an old, if everyone's been to Cracker Barrel, 
it was kind of that setup where it was like old, very rustic and whatever. And they had their own little shop. And then you go and you sit down to like an old fashioned, you know, rustic country, um, you know, with the butter churns and stuff like that. And, you know, sit down for ice cream. And they, you know, had their all special ice cream. And they used to have caramel praline ice cream. I, I used to get it all the time. With crunchy pralines in it. And, oh, my God. That was my favorite. My absolute favorite. Oh, my God. You're bringing me back to high school. Because that's where we used to hang out. I mean, besides Denny's, of course. But <sighs> this is great. Caramelized pralines. Summer melts. Yummies. Keeping this. So, please let me know. Rashonda, who this is from. Oh, God, I said I wasn't going to show the price. Sorry, sorry. Not like anybody cares, but whatever. Um, please let me know who this is from, because that is awesome. I would love to order from those guys again. Then we have, everybody knows this company. Oh, this was the scent of the month. This is Scentsy. Now, um, what am I going to say about Scentsy? Okay. Well, so there's, let me see, what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight little things in here. Um, cubes, which I normally, this is 3.2 fluid ounces, net weight, 2.6 ounces. That kind of answered the question from my last video, but whatever. Um, people love Sensi. I have some Sensi people, um, Sensi consultants in my um, Candles Anonymous group. And so I'm not saying anything bad about Sensi. Um, what I have received from Sensi wasn't all that thrilled with. There's the scent throw for me was just not too, not huge. Now, it could have been the scents I had. They could have been very light. But this smells, this is called Lemons and Berries. It's so nice. It is so nice, Lemons and Berries. It's awesome. Awesome. This is so nice. Look how big this is. This is like really, really cool. Um, like I said, 3.2 fluid ounces, net weight 2.6 ounces. So I would probably throw three of these in at a time into my warmers because they're so big. But I will be getting smaller warmers, new, new smaller warmers. They, they should be on their way. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. So now we have Bella Candles and Tarts. Now... What I'm going to say about this company right here, Bella Candles and Tarts, I have in my warmer right now burning a Bella's Candles and Tarts um, birthday cake. And it was from Rashonda's last stash. <sighs> so good. So good. Have not placed an order with these guys yet, but I will be. Amazing. Um, now I don't know if there's one of these companies that closes or not. I'm not sure. But anyway, love it. Just absolutely love it. Wasn't too sure. Put it in my, look at, she taped, oh, she really taped two sides. I thought, was gonna, I thought she taped all three sides. I was going to laugh at her. Not really, Rashonda would laugh at you, but. Now, you know what's funny? You see these? Now, I don't know if the, I think the other one was like this too. It's indented. It's like, almost like, like a sinkhole. And it's one of these oval scent shots, which I believe is two ounces. I don't know what it says on here. But this is banana split. And I'm not catching much with this one right now. But I will let it cure a little longer. Um, it's a little dry. So I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not a matter of curing. Maybe this one's a little older. I don't know. But normally, like you throw them in your in your warmer, and they still smell the same. So if you get like funky wax, and you're kind of like, oh, like what's this? Like either it's smushed, or it's hard, or it's whatever. Normally, you just throw it in your burner and or warmer, I should say, not burner, and it still smells fine. But on cold throw, you're gonna have trouble. If it's, you know, if it's been, if it's dried up and stuff like that, um, smelling. So I'm not really, I'm, I'm getting like a whiff of vanilla ice cream, but, but not too, not too much. But like I said, um, 
I rave about the birthday cake from Bella's Candles and Tarts, so I'm sure this banana split will be awesome. Thank you. I'm just retaping. So anything with a lid, guys, tape it down. Um, all right. She taped this one, too. Oh, my God, Rashonda. You're cracking me up. I love you, girl. I love you. Okay. I had a problem with one of these before in the, in the last D-Stash. This is from DZ's Tarts. Okay? It says net weight, two ounces, scented wax tarts. And the thing about it was it didn't have a... See right here? This is Amish Friendship Bread, which is a scent I know I already love because I've smelled it from other vendors. But it didn't have... It had this top part. But it didn't have this part, so I didn't know what the scent was. Um, I mean, like, which isn't always a bad thing, you know? I mean, you throw it in, but like I said, I keep a database. I like to know so that I can reorder. Um, I'm dropping it. Um, so that I can reorder, and hopefully I can open this one because, like I said, she, she taped it up, girl. Now... The thing I have to say about Beezies, which, with the other one, too, like, these things are, like, over full, guys. Look at that. They're amazing. So you really do have to tape Beezies lids because, no, that's great. Now, the other Amish friendship bread that I smelled was not as cinnamony as this one because I'm not a huge cinnamon person. So I may be doing a giveaway with this one. Um, I don't know why I'm not a cinnamon person. I'm just not. Like, if it's mixed with things and it's mixed correctly, I like it. But this one's very cinnamony. So, this one, I think, um, I mean, it's strong. It's awesome. But I think this one I may do a giveaway. I may give away. I will put in a giveaway bag. Um, and I do have a little box going, just so everybody knows. So, okay, here's another one. From Molten Melts. It's called Hansel and Gretel. Now, this lid was broken, but that's fine. And I think Rashonda has cats because I'm getting cat hair. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just guessing. It's kind of cute. Because to kind of know, get to know people a little bit better. Just by picking them up little things. You'd think I was like some sort of forensic scientist or something. <gasps> she has a white cat and his name is... I have no idea. I'm just teasing. Okay. And I'm sorry this is taking not so long, guys, but these are taped up, which is what I requested. So she's always doing what I ask. But this right here is broken. But like I said, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It really isn't. Some of the other ones were really bad. This is not bad. Hansel and Gretel is like a gingerbread. It's like a cinnamony gingerbread. Now, what I've noticed with Molten Melts. Now, this from Molten Melts is nice and waxy. Okay? These scent shots are very hard. They're not, um, they're, I mean, they got cute little sprinkles on them and stuff, but they're very, can you hear that? And you, can you see you see no imprint. Those aren't my imprints. Those were already there. Um, oops, I almost dropped it. But they're they're very um, like I can barely scratch it. Now, let's see if we pop it out. Yeah, you know what? See, it's the top because the bottom is waxier. Like you know. This is definitely a harder wax than some of the other ones. Some of the other ones, when you hold it, you're like, oh, it's melting. Okay, put it back. But for some reason, the top of these, which it could be the um, embellishments, the sprinkles or whatever, or the, yeah, the sprinkles on the side, the sparkles. Um, they, I mean, not on the side, on the top that they put. But um, Hansel and Gretel, I'm not so sure this is one for me. But, okay, let's move on. Okay. I got nervous. Okay, now here's a black cat hair. She's got cats. This girl's got cats. I know she does. Let me know, Rashonda. I think you're a cat woman. That's what I think. I think you're a crazy cat lady. I don't know for sure. 
I'm actually allergic to cats. So, I was going to say I don't like cats. I shouldn't say I don't like cats. I had a cat when I was smaller. His name was Toto, after the dog in Wizard of Oz. And uh, if that makes any sense, just because it was black and I was young. And this cat was crazy. I got it, We got his kitten. This cat would literally hang from your from our curtains. And like whenever anybody would walk by, they would like, this cat would jump and attack. I remember my parents had to get rid of him. Or her. I don't even remember which it was. And they told me that it went to a very nice old lady. Now, I believe that at the time. Now I'm thinking to myself, why would you give, as I'm older, I'm like, why would you give a crazy cat to an elderly person? <laughs> like, why would you give a crazy attack cat to an elderly person, right? Does that make any sense? I recently asked my mom that question, too. And I said, Mom, remember the Toto? Remember this and remember that? And I said, did you really give him to an elderly person? And, and she's like, oh, yeah, I did. I'm like, you're not lying, Ma, right? Like, I'm, you know, in my 40s. I can deal with it. You know, like, if you send it to the Humane Society, you put it down, whatever, right, let me know. No, no, no. I, no, we did. We gave her. So I hope, I hope that Toto did not kill that nice elderly woman, whoever they gave it to. But, okay, this is, shoot you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Okay, come on, focus. Oh, there we go. Picks, petals, and scents. Orange zucchini red. Now, I've heard so many awesome things about this company, Picks, Petals, and Scents. Unfortunately, what I've discovered so far is that really the only way you're going to get anything from Picks, Petals, and Scents is if you have money. The day they open, which I think they're opening again in June, right at the beginning of June. I think there's a date. I'm not sure. Um, because then they'll probably sell out and then they close again. So they're one of those companies that, um, because they don't want to get overwhelmed and have like their, you know, their arrival time be, oh, 27 weeks from now, you know, like some crazy thing. They tend to do you know like do these huge orders or whatever and then they close shop so that they can get those all filled and out to the customers it's not something that i particularly like i don't like that um i mean to me if you have a shop that would be like trying to go into a shop and like they're open one day a week you know what i mean you, you, you kind of be like or you know or one day a month you'd be like well, what the hell you know what's up with that but but I, but everybody raves, 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 raves about this company. Now I have some other scent shots from them. Um, I haven't burned anything yet, but this is orange zucchini bread. And people are raving about these zucchini bread blends. I'm not a hundred percent sure they're for me yet. I haven't decided. I have a few others. <sighs> that I might have got from Rashonda. I'm not sure, but. I can catch the orange. I mean, zucchini, I don't think it really smells like. I love zucchini. Fresh zucchini, love it. But I don't think it really smells like anything. Is it a bakery scent? I mean, yeah. I suppose. I don't know. Orange zucchini bread. Like I said, people raving. There's uh, there's even one site. Could be Picks, Petals, and Scent. I'm not sure. They have like a zucchini bread list. And it's like pink zucchini bread, blue zucchini bread, um, orange zucchini, watermelon zucchini bread, apple zucchini bread, like, I mean, there's like a million zucchini bread listings. I mean, like, it's crazy. So, obviously, people love the zucchini bit, zucchini bread blends. I'm still not convinced yet. Don't know. I'd have to melt. I have to, I'll have to melt it and see. But picks, petals, and scents. People rave. They absolutely rave about it. So, I just have a few more here. Okay. This is one that was kind of funny last time. This is, I don't know if you can see their label, because it's kind of white on white. But it's sweetfixations.com. And this is in buttercream cupcakes. And the funny thing was, she taped this down, which was great, because this was one that had a top. The top was... The wax was stuck to the top, and 
it had a different bottom. Now, talk about confusing crests, right? Like, so the top said, like, say, buttermilk biscuits from Sweet Fixations, and the cut part said Hansel and Gretel from Molten Melts. Okay, I'm stumped, people. Like, hello, tell me what the deal is here, because I have no clue. Um, so it was really funny, because in transit or, you know, whatever, it, it just, it, and the bottom obviously didn't fit the top, because it just didn't, um, it just didn't fit the top. But this one does. This fits the top. But the, like I said, the, the melt just fell right out, and it just, it wasn't the same top to bottom. But this is really cute. Look at it. It's got a few little pink. I just got to go to the middle here. Pink sprinkles on it. Now, this is really good. Buttercream cupcakes. Sweet fixations. Now, I remember the few that she gave, and she did give me a few last time. Sweet Fixations was definitely one of those sites that I had to try. Because it's, it, oh my god. It smells just like buttercream frosting. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, but it was definitely one that I had to try. And I think I went on their website and I think they were closed. Again, another company I think that closes. Not 100% sure, but... Oh, no, there's a few more in here. Okay, here's another one from Bella's, Bella Candles and Tarts. And it's Angel, da, 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 Angel Food Cake. And now I have another story. Um, I, I'm sorry, you guys, if you hate my stories. I'm so sorry. Angel Food Cake. My mother used to buy Angel Food Cake all the time. Now it's Mother's Day. I shouldn't be speaking ill of my mother. And I'm not really speaking ill of her. But I used to buy Angel Food Cake all the time. You know what Angel Food Cake reminds me of? Chewing on a sponge. That's what Angel Food Cake reminds me of. There is nothing that I like about Angel Food Cake, and my mother would buy it all the time. She hasn't bought it recently. Maybe she forgot how much she loves Angel Food Cake. But to me, what a waste. Don't, don't even call yourself cake. Like, what a, oh my God. If you're a foodie, don't call yourself cake. Like, foodies would be insulted at that. And I'm definitely getting like a creamy vanilla bakery set. But again, Angel Food Cake. Um, I never ate it because, I mean, I had it. I can't stand it. Oh my god. Not that I can't stand the smell because it smells very nice, but it's not a cake. Angel Food Cake is not a cake. It's not. Oh, really nice. Very nice scent. Like it. Like the scent. But that's just funny, because I hate Angel Food Cake. Oh, my God. Um, in person. The smell is very nice in the candle, but in person. Okay. Now, this is marked HHS. Haley's, I'm going to assume this is Haley's Heavenly Scents. Now, a lot of people, there are so many candle companies out there, guys. So many candle vendors. Everybody, like, in, in certain wackers, they're like, they're like, oh, yeah, P&P, or, you know, PPS, Pix Petals and Scents, and HSS, and, like, every, like, like, there should be a list, like, a index, like, I'm like, I'm, I'm reading this stuff, and I'm going, I don't, what is HHS, guys? Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's a, a blend of something, I don't know. But H -H 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 -S, H -H S I am now thinking is Haley's Heavenly's Scents. And this may be another company, I think, that I went on that was closed. I'm not sure. Or maybe I was, was going to place an order and they wanted PayPal. I don't know. Um, but this is Grandma's Chubba Dubba Zucchini. So, again, these zucchinis. You know what? Maybe this was the site that had all the zucchini scents. I don't know. But... Okay, now I don't know what Grandma's Chubba Dubba is supposed to smell like. So this kind of just smells like the other zucchini to me. Um, and like I said, I don't know if I'm loving these zucchini scents. I don't know. I'm going to have to burn one. 
I'm going to have to burn one and find out. Because I don't know if I'm loving it. But this is Haley's Heavenly Sense, I believe. HHS, I believe that's what it stands for. So, that is what I got, guys. I will be taking a picture of it. And I want to thank you, Rashonda, from the bottom of my heart. This was so not necessary. It was so... Like I said, guys, the, that whole last stash was awesome. It was insanely awesome. And none of the defects were Rashonda's fault. And she was just... She's just mad awesome. Just mad awesome. I love you, girl. Um, I'm not going to keep you guys any longer, but this was an awesome D-Stash. So I will take a picture of it, and I'll put it at the end of this. And mwah, Rashonda, love you, D-Stash number two. This one was a gift. Peace.